Hi, it's Rod, Rod Beckstrom, uh, CEO of ICANN, and I'm getting an amazing tour here of the OECD with Dr. Sam Paltridge, uh, who's one of the economic researchers and leaders in the uh, Information Communications Technology Center. And, and uh, I'm not going to Sam. Yes. Uh, and so we're, we had a great meeting talking about the economics of the internet and networks and how does it relate to policy and learning about what they're doing. And now they're showing us their incredible abode. We feel really fortunate to be here with you, Sam. Thank you. And you're welcome. Thank you. so, so, Sam, actually, tell us about what do you do here at OECD? Uh, Karen and I both um, work for member governments, the OECD governments, and our area is the economics of communications, policy, regulation, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do numerous things. We write reports for governments, we organize meetings for governments to come and talk about uh, telecoms, the internet, uh, mobile communications. Um, and just we've covered just about any issue you can think of over the years from um, you name it, we've done it. Uh, including areas that touch on your sure. And, and just tell me, I mean I'm curious because you look at these kinds of problems. How how important and invaluable is the internet for the world economy? Uh, it's critical. Um, we've always believed that, but we've over the years we were getting many more believers around us, not just uh, uh, in our own part of the OECD, but also across all parts of the OECD, whether that's uh, economics, uh, agriculture, uh, everybody can see that the internet impacts on their part of the world. So every industrial sector has an impact. Absolutely. And how many countries do you have in the OECD? Um, we have 30 member countries, but also we have uh, many other countries that come and, and uh, engage in part of our activities uh, to various levels of it. Okay. Including um, you know, countries such as India that may not be members come to various committee meetings and so forth and uh, participate in our activities. Sure, and then you have like entirely different ranges of what you do, right? Because you're, you're one of the key measures of economic growth around the world, statistics and measurement, but don't you also do policy advice and work? And don't you also do theoretical? I mean, there's a whole we do. range. What are the, are the main categories of what the um, OECD does? Certainly, policy advice is a big part of it, and, and governments meeting here to discuss issues, whether that be the state of the world economy or um, education, for example. Um, and we provide statistics and policy information that inform that discussion. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And so, it, if the internet stopped growing or it stopped expanding, I mean, I mean, so is it is it? Do you see it deeply entwined then in economic growth around the yes. world? I mean, so if it were constrained or blocked, that would hurt growth, or how do you look at it? Very much so, and because of that, we organised a ministerial meeting uh, last year, which took place in Seoul, where we had ministers from across the OECD area and a number of countries uh, that aren't OECD members come together and talk about the importance of the internet uh, for the economy. Mm -hmm. And is there general agreement by most of those countries to kind of keep the internet growing and expanding <laughs> and do bandwidth? Uh, I think just about every minister there wanted to learn how to expand it further, how to use it better, uh, how to make it safer. Uh, in fact, a lot of the issues that I can uh, has as your core uh, sure. missions. Well, and as you know better than almost anyone, because you've been an observer on the Government Advisory Committee of ICANN for, for how many years, Sam? Uh, I go back right to the start. Eleven years? Yes. Intermittently, for, for some years when I've had other duties, but um, actually discussions are, uh, about uh, ICANN type issues go back here to about 1995. Wow. We had some of the first meetings with governments uh, leading up to the establishment of ICANN mm -hmm. um, about uh, how, you, what, how you administer domain names and so forth. Mm -hmm. It's a much more complex world now than it was then. It sure is, isn't it? I mean, the internet has grown over, you know, it was a hundredfold or a thousand in volume exactly. just in the exactly. last ten years. Exactly. It we seems were, like that curve is continuing, huh? Yes. Uh, we were very pleased when uh, ICANN was created mm -hmm. because we recognized that, that someone would need to do this and it would need to be done in a very professional way. Mm -hmm. um, and ICANN was created and the GAC was created to give governments a, a way to put in advice kept informed and so that was very positive and it's become more international since then. So you know we'll be meeting, meeting in Nairobi in March and we'll be meeting in J Brussels in June. We really hope Sam we're going to see you at, at one or both of those events. I guess the close one would be the best. 
Yeah, yeah. the Brussels would be yes. Yeah, just a, a quick. How, many, how long is it by train up to Brussels? Uh, very quick these days. It's, 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 it's having a local meeting for us. Just about terrific. Well, thank you so much for everything you've done for the internet and economic development. Thank you and supporting ICANN. Thank you for visiting me.